So a couple things I'm noticing about negative lab pro. So first of all, the left image was from um, a lab, and it was a um, it was scanned on an Meritsu LS600. So actually, if I if I look at this image and um, I just want to see like what it was before I edited it, the left is actually what I got from the lab, and the right is what I um, what I ended up with. But anyway, back to the grid mode. Look at these two photos. Um, so some of the key differences, first of all, you'll, you'll notice that they're um, flipped from each other, and that's just because I scanned the emulsion side up, like the different side of the emulsion or of the film, so it looks backwards, but I could easily swatch that back. Second thing I noticed is I thought I wasn't going to get very sharp scans. I wasn't getting super sharp scans to begin with. Um, before I got the negative carrier, the Voloi ne negative carrier that I've been like posting about. But if you look at them, my right one is no less sharp than the left one. And I, I think they give each other a run for their money. If anything, um, maybe mine is sharper. Hard to say. I think mine might be sharper, Woo, which is pretty cool. Um, Third, I prefer my edit on the right. Um, however, I don't think I just the way Negative Lab Pro works and the way you have to monkey with the color settings and stuff. I'll, I can do another video someday on that. Um, I think that you can't, you should you should shoot film with a photo lab before using Negative Lab Pro, just so you can get used to like, you can train your eyes on color and what kind of color looks good and figure out what kind of adjustments you use. If you do a lot of split tone adjustments, if you like shadows to look a certain way or skin to look a certain way, um, I think you could go really deeply off the rails in Negative Lab Pro if your eyes weren't previously trained. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of my thoughts, but here are a couple, so again, the left two are from the lab, and I showed you what they were before my adjustments, and the right two are just from mine in Negative Lab Pro, me in Negative Lab Pro, and I, I think I actually prefer the Negative Lab Pro ones. There's still some like minor things I would do. Obviously, the crops suck, um, and like some of the colors like in the background, like that, that cyan in the sky is a little wonky for me. Um, but yeah, I, I think I can achieve what I want with negative lab pro, I guess is what I'm saying. And I'm not saying that the lab couldn't have done a better scan to begin with, but, or like, you know, I couldn't have communicated with them and figured out a way to get an even better scan out of them. This particular lab, I couldn't have done that with, but like good labs, I, I could have done that with. Um, but what I'm, I'm, I'm not arguing that point. My point that I'm arguing really is just that I think negative lab lab pro can work for me and I can do color at home however I think it would be it would have been really hard for me to do this even moderately well um, as a beginner if I wasn't already kind of my eyes weren't already trained by some some good labs so it's a little bit of a plug for using a good lab don't just use any local lab if they're giving you shitty colored scans send it to a good lab um, That'll like work with you and pick up the phone and make adjustments, pay a little more, talk to a technician, um, because it's part of a learning process too and figuring out like what you can do with the actual negatives. So anyway, that was a bit of a ramble, but there you go.